guys, Avery Moser, and today I'm going to do a full video on my military gear. I got all of it in my room, so that's pretty much how I'm going to show you it. So yeah, let's get right into it. Okay guys, so first thing I'm going to show you is these two pictures right here I have. Um, so first one is um, just planes and it says some stuff down here like uh right here you can see uh john lavelle captain i think that is ac something like that i don't know that the ac means but italy 1944 it's a u.s air force collection but anyways the scene in italy 1944 shows a string of p-38s and takeoff circling circling the the airfield the and this was a standard maneuver that permitted quick grouping. And it says something before beginning a mission, it says down there. You gotta see it. Uh, the lightning is form up, says John LaVale. So yeah. And then this one right here, World War II 50th anniversary. And it says, fine art series, silver wings, James, uh, diet, something like that. Uh, but yeah, see that right there. It kind of got thrown up a little up there, but for the most part, it looks pretty good. And move on to what's on my desk. So, my desk, uh, what I got is a pocket watch. This is my grandpa's. I pretty I think it was my grandpa's, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, but um, this is just for like a little thing help them uh my impression uh german reproduction german uh i can't think mess 10 yeah uh reproduction german canteen <clears throat> and first infantry division patch and then right here it's like a little toy i don't know when it's from but dan warner and then apparently it was his name Right there is a little toy of him. And you can read that if you want. Pause it and read it. But, uh, you just wait. Okay. There we go. Uh, and right here, I got a bronze star medal. I think it's World War II. I don't know. It could be Vietnam. If, I don't know if they had the same ones in Vietnam. But, right here, I think it's World War II. But, they're, they're, I don't know, those tore off from something, but, uh, you got the metal right there, and up here, got, like, the, I don't know what that's for, but, yeah, uh, on the back of the metal, says, still in really good shape, but, back of the metal, says, go focus, I'll be right back with you once I focus. So yeah, there you can see it. Says heroic, I think. Heroic or uh, heroic or meritorious, I think. Heroic or meritorious. Uh. Sorry, I can't really read right now. Uh, heroic or notorious achievement, it says. The back around the circle, kind of. So, yeah. And there's something else in here. Uh, right here is a original bullet from World War II. You can see. In the back on the bottom it says then get the the focus but I can never get it to focus but here try it right here I oh zoom in yeah, I can see from 1943 
right there at the top, 43, 1943. So yeah, it's cool. Uh, and moving on, well, I do have some shell casings in here that I shot and stuff. Um, and right here, my M1 helmet, original M1 helmet, front seam swivel bail. You got my reproduction liner inside of it. Uh, because my Vietnam one's falling apart. But, uh, and I want to get an original World War II one, but my Vietnam one's in there. But, yeah, got original netting on it. OD green netting. Uh, World War II German helmet with, uh, uh, um, bar, uh, not barbed wire, chicken wire. Yeah, um, and on this shelf right here, I got Lube Oil MG. It's for the 19, no, the 1919 Browning, something like that, the big machine gun, the US used. Uh, clove chewing gum, uh, which is like kind of what they have in World War II. Reproduction, uh, German fork and spoon. Original, here's our original German fork and spoon. I got this right here for three dollars and seventy-five cents. But and then I just got Nestle chocolate bar I made. Uh, yeah, uh, Lucky Strikes that also made those showcasings. Reproduction canteen in cup. Original World War One canteen, World War Two cup. Uh, just got a Camel cigarettes box. Nothing in it. Just kind of something like that. Those are my grandpa's. Uh, and right here is a original. I think I believe it is. Not uh, sure, but a um, Vietnam M1 carbine bayonet. I'm pretty sure. My dog tags with a P38 can opener on them. I think P38, something like that. But yeah. Uh, and down here, yep, my reproduction helmet with the Second Ranger Division patch on the back well uh thing on the back um with the vietnam liner in it and right here i got uh just a garrison cap another one here uh hey i forget what these are called um some clamp arteries and stuff keep them from bleeding uh yeah i forget what they're called might come to me later in the video but uh a razor 1920 and a medic armband uh i don't know if this is what would go on your liner like that hole on the top of your liner not positive but yeah private first class and that is uh and then just a pen us shell casing here's a 30 out six one which if you don't know is what the pretty sure this 30 out six yeah which if you don't know this is what they on grand fires but, and then first original, uh, first army field dressing, I mean first field dressing says, and then like just directions. And from December 1942, if you guys can see that. 1942. Uh, yeah, and down here, I just got a medic bag my mom made that me for that for me a long time ago. Well, not a long time ago, a couple of years ago. But I was actually going to do a medic impression before everything. I just wanted to be a medic and have some stuff. But then when I uh, decided that I wanted to carry a rifle and everything. But so yeah, here, uh, well, name one grand. Um, just got, I don't know if this is modern day Vietnam. I don't know. Uh... U.S. some pouch I don't know, and Vietnam canteen with the original cover and everything. There is some markings on the back you can kind of see them, but too faded you can't really read them. You still see the U.S. and I believe this is the date right here on the button it. Yeah. 
US VBC. I don't know what the VBC me means, but US and 463, 1963, probably. Uh, yeah. And on the back, got the Alice clips, I think they're called. Uh, so yeah. And original chin straps kind of tore up and everything. But, uh, yeah. And another garrison cap. And in here is my reproduction, uh, US me can. I have a bunch of shell casings in it from reenactments and stuff, uh, that I've gone to. I've never re like actually been in reenactment myself. I want to start reenacting. But yeah, let's figure out how to get in a group or something through division, what my impression is. So yeah, but anyways, you can see right here, original, it's our original World War II, um, lightweight gas mask bag, late war, just OD, green kind, 37 I think it is. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's named Richard, Richard right there, you can see. Richard Lynch. Yeah. You, you can still kind of see the US is kind of faded though. Right there. And the uh, US Army Lightweight Gas Mask Bag. And what I have in here, I think I just have some rations. Yeah, I just have a ration box. And I think a garrison cap in there, yeah. Uh, so yeah. I got this actually, I forget how, I think, I have on a video I told how much it was, but I forget, uh, like 10 bucks or something like that, it was a really good deal at a World War II event, so yeah, and boots, they're not World War II, but, uh, I didn't want to spend like, uh, 300 bucks on the, at the front ones or anything like that, so I just got these for now, I'm probably going to get some eventually, World War II ones, reproduction, but, yeah, original order two leggings, bandolier. Uh in here before I get in that box, just got US uh the rubberized M seven gas mesh bag that you can see on the D Day landings and some other amphibious landings. And then here I just got helmet netting and just straps and a bunch of stuff. And here I just got the a one of those clips for the helmets you can see and like the things for the leather part going right here you can see for that part like the metal part on it and stuff so yeah just a bunch of crap in there i'm not gonna get into it all um yeah i think i covered everything on that shelf so yeah uh moving on you can see right here got my original tie or somewhere up here just see some markings I think it's original not positive I don't know if that's a laundry number or what whatever uh yeah tie it's very scratchy around your neck but if you don't if you just put it on but normally you'd have it under the collar of the other thing one but uh it was right here First private, uh, private first class, Ike Jack, Ike Jack. I put this on. Don't know if it's original World War Two or not. Got these on, there, and they these represent how much months over. I mean years or months overseas. Um, pr pretty sure each one is represents six months overseas. So this would have been a year overseas. Uh, private first class for another one and twenty fifth infantry division. I think it is. Uh, yeah, and original M37 old pants, right here, uh, and up here, I got my M1 Grand I made out of wood, uh, I just recently put this on the front sight, which is a little too big, I think, like long, but, uh, like high, but it looks good for now, see it's kind of curved out, there, um, yeah, got my 
uh, not original, reproduction uh, cartridge belt. Um, in here, uh, original Carlisle bandage pouch with just a wrapped up bandage and paper. Reproduction canteen cover. I want to get original one. Going to D-Day, uh, D-Day, Ohio, County up. Only a couple hours away from me, so we're going to go there. I don't know if there's flea markets or anything, uh, but if there is, I'd look for something like that. I think there's museums, too. But, yeah. Think it out. Uh, there you go here. The original canteen. 1945. Aluminum goods manufacturing, 1945. And I also got a cup, which is also dated 1945, but I'm not going to get out. It's hard to get out, but I believe it's not, I forget what company it is, but the canteen cup. And I have it out in some other videos and stuff, but anyways, reproduction haversack, original uh, folding shovel, the original folding shovel cover, original mess tin or meat can, just got some stuff in my haversack, like personal items and everything. So yeah, oh, and right here, we did have it in here, but it kind of folded, it like slid over, and needed to take it out and make it more straight. But it's original Stars and Stripes, uh, the Stars and Stripes newspaper from night, uh, Wednesday, March 28th, 1945. See it right there, so yeah. And it tells about uh, uh, main German line, West Broken, Mike says, uh, yeah, wars may still make stand and everything. Five allied armies roll ahead against crumbled enemy. Uh, I think there's something about them crossing the Rhine or something. Uh, reviews Rhine campaign. Yeah, and this, it's fun to read. I, but when you open it, there's more stuff. But we just did that. So, yeah. And then right here. Almost done. Uh, U.S. Um, shovel cover and uh, reproduction shovel cover and uh, reproduction tea handle shovel. Uh, and just have it hanging up there. And then under here, I got my uh, original stretcher from World War II. I'm going to take it out. I've had it in a couple different videos. So, yeah. But now, in my closet, I think I have my last stuff, yeah. So yeah, it's kinda messy, but. Uh, so, I got my original post, well, original, it's post-war, but so original, like Korean era, uh, M37 roll shirt. I think it's the same design, M37, yeah. Uh, and got, uh, M41 jacket with gas brass art on it and wool pants right there more with the green wool pants and then on the other side of this I got more mustard yellow kind of pants and then right here Vietnam I think uh, jacket and pants you had the wings on it US uh, yeah I think that's it Oh, yeah, so that's it. That's all that's in my closet. Uh, yeah, so I think it's gonna wrap it up, covered everything. So, hope you enjoyed. If you did, like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.